we have to admit as people, the toughest thing to combat is our bias. And so you see the story. You see a video of a kid who has a Native American man who's playing his drum, and these kids are around the guy, and they're all jeering, and they're dancing. He's got this smug look on his face. And let's not lie, everyone that sees that smug look wants to punch that kid, right? <laughs> I even saw conservative people online, when the first video, they were like, look at that face, you want to punch that face. <laughs> Because he does, and it's not that Trump or not, that's, he just looks like an asshole. That's why you look when you're a teenager at that age. No one looks like a teenage smile and like, yeah, I like that. Jesus, I'm gonna punch you. You know, but you, you see the image and immediately people are like, this is the narrative, this is the story. And then it becomes this thing of like, oh, these kids, they harass this man and this, you know, this is this horrible story. And then you see, you see the, the, the additional videos come out and I go, if I was the news, I'm like, well, you guys, surely you guys could have just searched on social media before reporting the story. Just a simple search, just search. You would have found it all. You know, you would have seen this crazy fringe group, the black Israelites or whatever, shouting those things at the kids. And then you see the kids responding with their chants, you know, and then you see the Native American elders who were there. They had a, like a, they had a permit to protest and they were, the protest was just moving through. And then they encountered these two groups fighting and then they were like, we're just gonna go in and play our drums and try and get everyone, you know, diffuse the situation. And then they become the situation. But, it, but it, it's like a weird story where I feel like, depending on who was holding the camera, their story made them look like the victim, every single person, you know? Because then the, the kids came out and they were like, we, we were afraid. I'm like, get the <laughs> out of here, man. <laughs> I'm watching the video, you guys are dancing, your shirt is, I'm never taking my shirt off when I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm never like, uh, I'm afraid, yeah. <laughs> You're not afraid, you don't have to lie. You can say, look, we weren't trying to be assholes. This Native American guy came and played the drum in the middle of our thing, and we were responding to someone else that had nothing. But you don't have to lie and be like, we were afraid. We were, he's like, I was trying to defuse the situation. You weren't trying to defuse shit, man. You know, you were having a good time. You were enjoying this moment that you and your friends were having together, right? And you can't make it like, you just like, I was just there in a Catholic school. You were like, the MAGA hats is also a thing that you have to acknowledge as people. Like, we can't make it seem like we, like sometimes people, you know, the, the, the people want to claim complete innocence when it's like, you know there's certain things that evoke a certain emotion, right? You, there's many Republicans who are like, I'm not gonna wear MAGA hats. A MAGA hat is a very explicit, you know, political symbol. You know what, you know how it makes people feel. You know, it's like, yeah, look at that, I got my MAGA hat. What are you gonna do about it? I got that, you know? And then after you cry, you're like, I don't get why the people, <laughs> Why do they think that I hold certain views? It's like, what, what do you mean? Because of the, because of, of that, you know what the hat symbolizes. Those kids, they were being assholes, they're being kids. You know, they like Trump. That's another discussion that we can get into on another day. I don't think we can dissect the person's racism slash white supremacy. I don't think it's, I think it's too convoluted and complicated to get into in one sitting in a few hundred characters on Twitter. You know, but I, but I think everyone played the victim card a little too hard. You know, and I think it was shitty that the kid got death threats. I think it was shitty that his family got death threats. I don't think that's, you know, the solution to anything. Um, if anything, I know it's a crazy statement to make, but I feel like that's what the National Mall is supposed to be about. People go there and protest, uh, say whatever they want to say, and then you go home. I think that was a great display of all First Amendment, no Second Amendment. It's a good time.